Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, yellow shaded triangle uh, ABC fully inscribed uh, in a circle uh, with the center O. As you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, this uh, chord AB length is uh, 14 units, whereas uh, this chord AC length is uh, 13 units. And moreover, we got this uh, triangle uh, BOC as well, such that uh, this angle BOC is being represented by 7x plus 6 degrees. And furthermore, uh, this angle with the tangent line is uh, 4x minus 3 degrees. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded triangle ABC. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. Let's make an observation. We see that this is our tangent line with this uh, point of tangency C. And as a result, we got uh, this uh, angle with the tangent uh, as 4x minus 3. And now let's recall the alternate segment theorem. As you can see in this given diagram. And here we got this uh, angle uh, with the uh, tangent line. And this angle with the tangent line is going to be congruent to this uh, angle. So therefore we could see that uh, this angle with the uh, tangent line will be congruent to this angle BAC. So therefore this angle has got to be 4x minus 3 degrees, same as this one. And now let's make an observation. This angle is going to be our angle with the circumference, whereas uh, this angle is uh, at the center. So therefore let's recall the central angle theorem. According to this theorem, the angle at the center is uh, twice uh, the angle at the circumference. So therefore uh, this angle uh, BOC is going to be 2 times uh, the angle uh, BAC. So therefore we can write uh, our angle at the center is uh, 7x uh, plus 6 uh, is going to be equal to 2 times uh, the angle at the circumference uh, which is 4x uh, minus uh, 3 and now we are going to distribute uh, 2 over here so therefore we can write uh, 7x uh, plus 6 uh, is going to be equal to 8x uh, minus 6 and now I'm going to move this 7x uh, on the other side where x I'm going to move uh, negative 6 in the opposite direction so therefore we are ended up with uh, 8x uh, minus 7x uh, is going to be equal to 6 uh, plus 6 and now 8x minus 7x is going to give us simply 1x equals to 12 degrees. So therefore our uh, this angle uh, BAC is going to be 4x minus 3 is going to become 4 times our x value is 12 degrees. So I'm going to multiply 12 and then minus 3. So therefore that is going to give us 48 minus 3. That is going to become 45 degrees. So therefore our this angle BAC turns out to be 45 degrees angle. So thus our uh, angle uh, BAC simply turns out to be 45 degrees. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded triangle uh, ABC. So therefore we are going to focus on this uh, yellow shaded triangle ABC. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area is always equal to a half times uh, the side lengths uh, A times B times uh, the sine of angle uh, C. As you can see in this given triangle, here we got two side lengths uh, A and B 
and C is the angle in between. And now let's revert our attention back to our this given problem. Here we got these two sides, uh, 13 and uh, 14 of this uh, yellow shaded uh, triangle uh, ABC. And 45 is the angle between these two legs. So therefore our uh, yellow shaded triangle area is going to be a half uh, times our one side length is 13. The other side length is 14 times uh, sine of angle 45 degrees. And now we know that uh, sine of uh, 45 degrees angle is equal to 1 divided by the square root of uh, 2. So therefore we are going to replace sine of 45 degrees with 1 divided by square root of 2 over here. And at the same time uh, 1 divided by 2 times 14 is going to give us simply 7. So therefore we can write uh, 13 times uh, 7 times sine of 45 degree value is 1 divided by square root of 2 over here. And that is going to give us uh, 91 divided by square root of 2. And now we are going to rationalize uh, the denominator by multiplying and dividing by square root of 2 at the very same uh, time. And now let's make an observation. We can see square root of 2 times square root of 2 simply gives us uh, 2. So therefore that is going to give us uh, 91 times uh, square root of 2 divided by 2 square uh, units uh, the area of this yellow shaded triangle ABC. So thus after all the calculations and manipulations the area of this uh, yellow shaded triangle ABC turns out to be 91 times square root of 2 divided by 2 square units and that's going to be approximately equal to 64.35 square units as well. In other words uh, the area of this uh, yellow shaded triangle is going to be 91 times uh, square root of 2 divided by 2 square uh, units and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.